I first took a deal to become an undercover informant in a biker gang, I did it to save my own skin. But over the next three years, putting bad guys away became my personal mission. I saw it as a chance to make amends for my past mistakes. But I paid a heavy price. I'm Charles Falco, and this is my story. not Vagos. It comes from the Spanish word for vagabond. The Vagos motorcycle gang, they're five times bigger than the Hells Angels in California. And they're that much more violent. Yeah, that's deep enough. They're mixed up in all kinds of organized crime. So to keep a lid on things, the feds put an informant in the gang. But things didn't go quite as planned. There's one occupational hazard that all informants face. Getting found out. have the honor. Let me do it. Please. Mm. My guess, Prospect. So at that point, the feds are down an informant. And now they need a new one. I guess it's the price I had to pay for my past mistakes. Trouble with me, I'm not very good at looking ahead. Well, back in 2003, I thought I had it made. Big house, three cars, beautiful wife. I'm making a hundred K a month, cooking and dealing crystal meth. But you know how it goes. You had a taste for these things and you can't stop. 
meth high lasts for hours. It makes you feel sharp at first. It affects the neurotransmitters in the brain that release dopamine. And dopamine is all about pleasure. And uh, I love to experience pleasure. forget things like the fact that your wife walked out on you and your friends they are long gone Asthma, and you smoke crystal. Back then, I just wanted to stay out of jail. They want names, I give them names. So, you They're not impressed. Not until I give them over my partner, Bernard. He's a big fish, buys me time. For the next six months, I have to piss in a vial every few days. Gets me clean for the first time in years. I even quit steroids. Looking back, that bust probably saved my life. I keep cooperating, helping bust mid-level dealers. I start to realize I got a chance to make amends, but I'm in limbo. I know it can't last. That's when I get a call from the San Bernardino Organized Crime Unit. Samantha Kyles. Well, it doesn't look good. You know, you're looking at a minimum 20 years. Maybe I can help. You ever heard of the Vagos? The biker king, sure. They're a big problem around these parts. Drug trafficking, murder, assaults, extortion. We're trying to build a case against them. And? You think you could get inside? You want me to join a biker gang? You want to stay out of prison, right? <sighs> Look, lady, I know dealers, all right? I don't know anything about bikers. You don't have to. Look at it this way. In many respects, you're the ideal candidate. Most informants have to invent whole previous lies, but you grew up in the valley, right? You know the streets, you know the dealers, and given your background, I'm sure you can figure it out. So what, so do I get paid for this, or? It doesn't work that way. How you go about it, it's up to you. All we ask is that you gather evidence for us, and in return, we'll think about reducing your sentence. You'll think about it? No promises. What if I don't find any evidence? Then I guess you go to prison. So where is this biker gang? San Bernardino County, the birthplace of American biker life. Hell's Angels, Mongols, the Outlaws, they have all left their tire tracks on the desert roads. And so have the Vagos.
By now, I've done my research on the gang. They're formed back in 65 and are divided into 47 chapters. The chapter that I'm going to try and infiltrate, one of the most notorious of the lot. Question is, how to get close to them? I don't even look like a biker. You know, I was just this tweaker kid, right? I rehearse my story. I try to think of all the questions they'll ask. Focus. I would save my life. What would make me someone they'd want to recruit? If I go save my life, I just want to buy a beer thing. As a so-called one percenter motorcycle club, Vagos are notoriously violent. And nowhere is more dangerous than their local bar, the Rat Catcher. As I walk to the door, I feel this huge adrenaline rush. It's like the first time I did a deal. But this, this isn't like any kind of deal I've ever done. As I step into the rat catcher, the first thing I notice, besides the smell of rancid beer and stale piss, is the tension. It's like a countdown to the next fight, where the real party starts and there's blood all over the floor. Excuse me, can I get a beer? Looking for something? Is that a leading question? Depends on what you're looking for. This is a friendly place to have a beer. <laughs> well, that is about 20 miles west of here. You do know where you are, right? Sure. Is there a problem? See that guy over there? That's my old man, Kid. Vice president of the local Vagos. And he's wondering what you're doing in their bar. You might want to take that as a polite invitation to leave. Yeah, I might. Or I might want to meet him. So now I'm on. What I say next, I've practiced a thousand times. Now it's showtime. Do I know you? Just want to buy you a beer. Oh, yeah? You want to tell me why? Well, it's a long story. A short version? Sure. I want to thank Abago. For what? Well, that's the long version. <laughs> Why don't you sit down and try not to waste my time? Okay. So, back in the mid 90s, I'm in Vegas and I'm tweaking my amount of money and that. That caused me to do the most dumbass thing I've ever done in my life. I'm staying at this hotel, and there's this huge jewelry convention, stalls and booths with like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of gold and silver and diamonds. And at the end of each day, they just pack up their stuff and they carry it up to their rooms. And I'm thinking, that's gotta be like taking candy from a baby, right? So I spot this old couple, and I follow them onto the elevator. I got it all planned. I'm gonna force them into the room, grab their stuff, point the gun in their faces. By the time they're done, I'm long gone, right? I didn't plan on that. Sounds tough. So did you get the hell out or what? Well, I figure I'm screwed, right? Do I run, or do I get what I came for? So what do you do? I'm the one with the gun, right? <laughs> they got cameras in the elevators, so I take the stairs. This is the genius part of the plan, okay? I got two sets of clothes on. 
they'll be looking for the guy that brought that couple, not this guy. So I hit the casino floor, I'm walking out, heart's in my mouth, I can see the exit. I'm thinking, I did. I'm home free, baby. Hey, stop right there! Stop right there! So... I did a year for armed robbery. It's federal, where'd you do your time? Just in uh, Lombok. <laughs> Lombok. <laughs> it's my second home. Oh, yeah? Well, it was my first time. Anyway, long setup. I know, I'm sorry. So in prison, I was just this tweaker kid. I didn't know any of the rules. And I don't know what I did to piss this guy off, but he decides he's gonna kill me. He's got a shit. Then out of nowhere comes this huge guy. Hauls him off and just starts kicking. That guy, he had a tattoo of a 22. And then I found out later that it stood for the 22nd letter of the alphabet. V for Vogue. A Vago saved my life. I promised myself, when I get out of jail, I'm gonna find a Vago, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna thank him. It took me a while, but... Did you get his name? Hmm? The Vago in Lompoc, did you get his name? Nah, oh, man. I never got the chance, you know? The deputies, they broke it up, and then they just transferred them to a different unit. <laughs> what kind of peas were you carrying? <laughs> oh, man, I just a cheap 9 millimeter. You know, I traded this kid some rocks for it back when I was cooking meth. You want to know the funny part of the story? It wasn't even loaded. So you were a chef? I was. You still into that? Nah, man. I got too messed up, bro. No, I just stick to weed now. Anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you. What's your name? This is Charlie. Kid. Darko, Stash, and my young old lady, Red. Best bullets always half true. True part of my story, the robber. Not proud of that. The jail part, I got probation instead of prison because the gun wasn't even real. And the bagger who saved my ass, word for word, one of the best lies I've ever told. By the end of the night, I got myself some new friends. story. And like it or not, those are the only friends I was going to have until this whole thing was over. A couple months into my infiltration, I have a routine. I'm not getting paid to be undercover, so I work at this garage all day. When I get home, I just want to sleep. But that's when the real job starts. Most of the Vagos ride bikes. Then there's Stash. He's too wasted to ride anything. Come on, man, let's go. Let's go. But since he's tight with the gang, I've become a chauffeur. You ready to party tonight or what? Yeah, man, of course. Oh. I almost forgot. <laughs> Do you know what that is? That's a 44 Magnum. That's pretty sweet, right? 
Yeah, well, where the hell did you get that? What's it to you? Nothing, man. I mean, whatever, just put it away. I don't want to get pulled. I quickly learned to be careful with the questions. <laughs> At this point, I'm friendly with some of the gang members, but I'm no closer to becoming one of them. That was all about to change. What's up, man? Check out the IE. What's the problem? Inland Empire. Skinhead, not bar. That was the first time I witnessed a bag of stomping. He was lucky to get out of there, but he didn't go quietly. Tell the rest of your friends! Okay, whoa, wait, hey! Hey, hey, hey! hey. It's an unwritten rule. You never touch a biker's bike. <laughs> but I didn't know at that time. Did you catch him? Nah. But I got his plane number. We'll find him. You touched my bike? I was just making sure it's okay, man. Let me get the hang around a beer. I was at the rat catcher last night. Next day, I call Samantha Kyle's. I'm chasing, so I'm a hang around now. Being made a hang around is the first step in becoming a vago. Well, I'm in now, right? Hey. Suddenly, there's someone she wants me to meet. Kosinski? Yeah. Falco? Yeah. How you doing? I'm all right. You? Have a seat. They call me Cos. Cos? Yeah. Got it. Can I get a coffee? Now, Detective Kyle tells me you're interested in some undercover work. Yeah, sure, if it keeps me out of jail. You clean? Sober right now? Uh-huh. Eight months. That's good. You married? No, not anymore. Girlfriend? Nope. No ties. How much you know about the Vagos? Uh, I know a few of the guys. Other than that, not much. Kyle said you're a hangaround. Yeah. All right, well, what happens from here? One of the guys likes you, wants to sponsor you, you become a prospect. It means you become their slave 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Your life's going to be pretty much over. I get it, man. It's hard. Just tell me what you need. Well, what I need is for you to gather evidence. Times, dates, any kind of illegal transaction. Now, if you're gonna be of any use to me at all, you need to get in deeper than just a hang around. Well, they did invite me on this run. Really? Huh. What's your ride? What do you got out there? What do you mean? Your bike, what's your bike? I drive, I got a car. Uh-huh, okay. Will you just follow behind in your Honda Accord? Well, it's a Ford. It's a Ford, okay. <laughs> you know how to ride a motorcycle? No. You want to infiltrate a motorcycle gang, you don't know how to ride a motorcycle. Do I have a choice in this? Well, 
What's this? That's a probationary contract between you and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. I thought you were DEA. No, I'm a special agent with the ATF, but we're all in this together one way or another. Now, this is a lot of legal, but basically the essence of it is that you agree to become a confidential informant, and I'm your handler. Okay, you're going to check in with me on a nightly basis, and you think of me as sort of a cross between your wife and your mother. Now, the important part is a part that says we stay your charges as long as you're working for us. You got a pen? So how long is this thing going to run for? Depends how long you last. What do you think the most dangerous part about being in a motorcycle gang? Say, obviously getting found out. No, riding a motorcycle. You might want to think about some lessons. You gonna pay for those? That was fun. The biggest deal for every bike gang is a bike run. It's a road trip and party rolled into one. Fire it up! And it usually results in casualties. This is the first time I lay eyes on the chapter president, the boss, Schizo. If I'm gonna get inside this gang and stay out of jail, Schizo's the man I need to get to. Every outlaw biker chapter rides in strict formation. Up front is the chapter's road captain, Lizard. Next comes the president, Schizo. Alongside him, the vice president, Kid. Then, Sergeant at Arms, Darko. The rest of the chapter, they all fall behind in pairs. At the back are what bikers call cages. Cars and trucks good for hauling beer and prospects without bikes. How long have I been a prospect? Two years. I've done enough to earn my patch ten times over. So why you not patched? I can't afford the wheels. Three hours later, we arrive at our destination. And that's when I discover that biker runs serve another purpose. Marking territory. Hey, what? is that them there? No, 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 keep going. Lake Havasu in Arizona marks the very edge of the Vagos patch. Here, 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 this is it. Yes! <laughs> As a prospect, Stash is forced to do anything that a full patch gang member wants. Come on, man. Yeah. As a hang around, <laughs> I just have to carry beers. And we had Glocks all over the table. Puts me in the action, though. And I hear things that could put people away for years. Guy starts talking, so my brother picks one of them up, shoots him right in the face. Bam! <laughs> you know. Sit down. Sit down. I said sit down. You like to smoke, right? You like to smoke? Yeah, sure. It's for you. Go ahead, talk up. Take it. So now then, this Vago and the story you told about Lompoc. What's his name again? 
told you, man. They transferred me before I got his name. I thought you said that they transferred. Come on, man. They transfer people all the time. It wasn't this guy, was it? This is Green. Hang around here has this story about some bago saved his ass in Lompoc. What was it? 94, 95? 94 mostly. I was in from 93 to 97. You two guys never saw each other. Lompoc's a big pet, right? I know what's a big pet. I've been there. You know what I don't buy about your story hanging around? I don't buy that a Vaga would put his ass on the line for some tweaker. You know what? There was this Vago up on a weapons charge. A pair of 22 tidies. One side or both? One side. Uh -huh. Dude's name was Bongo. Could be. Well, we got Fresno guys here. Maybe he's one of them. Yeah, you want me to check? I want you to check. Yeah, you can try, but you're not gonna find them. Bongo's dead, man. Give me some freaking pretzels or something. Just get out of here. Hey, Prospect! Did I say you could stop? Let's go! Come on! <laughs> After five hours of playing waiter, uh, you more pretzels? I'm still no closer to schizo. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, see that civilian down there? No, which one? Pretty one on the right. Okay, well, maybe when I get a second, I'll say hi. Just so you know, the girl she's kissing? Schizo's wife, Stella. And? I'm just saying, Charlie, if you want a patch, there's an easier way in than being Darko's brother. <laughs> As the Vagos get drunker, Stash's hazing gets ever more extreme. Prospect! Strip off. Keep going! <laughs> Meanwhile, I take Red's advice, and I look for a chance to talk to the girl with Schizo's wife. I'll be right back. Friends with um... Stella. Mm-hmm. This is Anna. Charlie, can I can I sit? <sighs> Come to a lot of these things? Nah, nah that's my first run. I thought I liked to party, but these guys. <laughs> yeah. It's not my usual scene. No? What about you and Stella? We were friends from high school and we just sort of hooked up again. She's pretty full on. Yeah, I'd say. You don't look like a biker to me. No? What I look like? More interesting? Well, I'll take that. I forgot you don't have a bike. Oh, oh man. Man. shame! Oh, shame! Hey, it's a good thing we're giving you that one. 
Five minutes to sew that patch on your cuts, boy. Yeah. <laughs> You're working on your masters? Sort of. Why'd you quit? Uh, I broke up with some guy. Later that night, I'm deep into it with Susanna when suddenly things go quiet. It's like something out of a dream. Why would a rival bike gang crash a bar full of Vagos? And three's hardly an army. But for bikers, it's all about showing you're not scared. Sorry. With the Vagos, maybe they should have been. Oh, yeah? It's gonna be next time? You play your cards right Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you dating any of these other guys? Why, are you jealous? No, no, I just don't want any enemies. No claims on me yet. Well, maybe I'll make one. Okay, don't, don't do that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I gotta go. The text is from Darko. Do me a favor. Just give me your number. I'm ordered to church. We'll see. All outlaw bike gangs hold weekly meetings they call church. But only full patch gang members are allowed inside. So why am I here? I'd run if I were you. What are you talking about? You're screwed. What do you mean? Darko. Something you did on the run to piss him off? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. up here. Schizo. I wanted to meet him. What's going on? Have a seat. Now I'm not so sure. So hang around. We've been talking about you. Tell me again why it was you came down here. I told you, man, I just want to change the scenery. Yeah, see, the problem is nobody here knows you. So some of the guys have been wondering if you are who you say you are. I'm gonna need you to fill this out. What's this? It's a background check. Just to make sure you haven't forgotten to tell us something. Sure. You got a pen? You want me to fill it out now? No, you can bring that back. 400 bucks to pay for it. As you see, I got good news and I got bad news for you. Good news is, the kid here has agreed to sponsor you as a prospect. Let me see about the bad news. 
Yeah, this kid has agreed to sponsor you as a prospect. Now, you might think that's a promotion, but well, you'd be wrong. But as a prospect, your ass belongs to the Vagos, to this chapter. You do everything a full patch tells you. Full patch wants a beer, you go get him a beer. Full patch calls you in the middle of the night because he needs smokes. What are you gonna do? Go get him a pack of smokes. Full patch tells you to fight. I fight. And if I ask you to kill someone, I kill someone. If I call you up in the middle of the night, tell you to come over and screw my old lady while I watch. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna ask you to reconsider that. <laughs> hey, if you want me to come over and screw your wife at three in the morning while you watch, I'm your man. Come anywhere near my old lady. Cut your balls off. <laughs> it's a joke. You survive being a prospect, and God knows how long that could take. You make it to full patch, there's only one thing that I can guarantee you. You're either gonna wind up dead or in jail. You good with that? Yeah, I'm good with that. Kid. What's this? Prospect kit, genius. Needle and thread, condoms, painkillers and tampons. Tampons? It's for plugging up bullet holes. Welcome on board. Come here. You ever make me look stupid and dead? Let's play? I'm one step closer to the Brotherhood and one step further from prison. Give me a beer, Prospect. But this thing, it's just getting going. <laughs>